413, please. Just before we sing, is there anybody whose heart? See, in every service, most every service, God will draw back the veil for someone. Yes. And when he does that, the <laughs> wonderful things happen to your heart, and I'm waiting on word from you. And I have two right here, Dean Ann, and then our brother Tim. Would you please, Brother Davis? I started not to go on, but he was telling me to hold steady. It was all I could do to stay in my seat this morning. <laughs> I just... I, I thought when he finishes, I'm just going to have to jump to my feet and say, I must respond. I must respond. Yes. I believe God, and I believe you. Jesus, we need thee. I believe you, Oliver Hogue. Praise the Lord for his grace and I am so thankful that I do, because I have God admirers before me. And it has helped me to try to oh, learn. That's, that's I'm so learning cool. to be a God admirer. And it changes everything. <laughs> it changes all of life. It is. My heart is so full that I, I feel so inadequate in trying to express myself. Jesus. From the time I walked in this morning, yes. I was in the kitchen yes. trying to arrange the flowers. And I heard Pastor Kathy teaching her class and oh it was so wonderful and she was talking about God is love and she was explaining about that love is God and what you touch in life that is love it's God touching your life and she said in her class she said I hope I'm making myself clear or some phrase like that and I thought you're making yourself clear it's reaching me in here (laughs) and then we went into class and I heard Pastor Terry talking or your brother Terry talking about God being our courage and our confidence. And uh, then the hymn service was so wonderful. And I felt like Stephen. I just wanted to sing. (laughs) And then the message. And uh, I do want to be a God admirer. And I want to fully enjoy Him forever. Praise God. And I am so thankful for you and for your teaching. I'm thankful for you, Dean Ann. I have never had any other thought. In my mind, other than what you were God chosen and that you were God admired, and my opinion does not change one iota, only strengthen, and then also that of your husband. Uh, as uh, I become a better acquainted with him, uh, Vernon, when he talks or speaks or writes, the Holy Spirit operates. And it's just a wonderful thing. I've never had any other thought. I want to praise him, Jesus. I want to thank you for this hunger. Yes. I wanted to say this too that I was so thrilled with your sermon last Sunday yeah. about Zebedee. Yes. And I just want to say this in front of the whole congregation as a tribute to my husband <laughs> right that on. I am married to a Zebedee. And I'm so thankful. <laughs> She's married to Zebedee. You thought his name was Vernon, it's Zebedee. Man. Tim Taylor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't have much except an amen to what Dean Ann said. I'm I'm thrilled. I I came this morning and I was looking at situations and saying how impossible they were. And God told me on the way to church that they weren't impossible if I'd look to Him and praise Him that He was my strength. And uh, when Pastor Steve began to tell the story there, it just it really fit in and, and a great load lifted off of me and I began to be free to praise and thank God. I, I began free to pray and, and and bless them. That story just lifted me up and then and then your sermon is just it's just wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Faith. Wonderful. We, you may prepare then and uh, leave the microphone with her and we'll sing a verse or two and we'll have this poem, a stanza or two. Okay. Amen. Is there anyone else that God just dealt with? I mean, the power of Jesus, the veil has been lifted. See, I know a lot of us could talk, but oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, you know, daughter, you were with me from the very beginning of my message. You were so happy. You were so thrilled. You were so adoring. See, you praise God more than anybody else in this place. At this point, and I plead the blood over you, at this point, you're the number one praiser in the sanctuary. And just as soon as I started to speak, you were the number one enjoyer. Amen. See? Yeah, by God's grace. 
See, God had other enjoyers here too, but now see, I know the first, I know the second by the first because you've been more faithful to praise God than anybody else in this sanctuary. I started and she was crying. I just got the words out of my mouth and she was crying. She doesn't profess to be a great intellectual. She doesn't profess to be a great scholar. She doesn't profess to be a great theologian. But what I preach today was simple to her and feeding. Remember, he comes in all different flavors. The manna has satisfied every man's taste. Only God can satisfy Pam and Oliver and everyone else. This is so wonderful. See, she's with me from the beginning. Just as soon as I started, I said, "Uh uh-oh, Jesus, I know why. Because she's been more faithful to praise God than anyone I know of. That's not putting anybody down. That ought to make us all glad. She testified more than I have. Seems like. I've had, of course, I'm up here testifying all the time, but I'm talking about out there where you have to wait and decide whether you're in order and hang on to God. Here she is. She's on Victory Street enjoying God. I preach a sermon like this. Now, the more carnal a person is, the more this went over his head. They want to hear me tell about something like red wheels and flashing swords and a few other things that are in place at times. But God helped me to preach a wonderful and a great sermon. And oh, how feeding to the soul it is when we praised Him. How we can enjoy it to Him. Praise God. Have we been faithful? Praise the Lord, Jay. You're right on the number, on the front line of those pray, those persons that praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. That witnesses, brother. Touch Jesus' witnesses. Touch his hand up. Yeah, said, Stephen said, touch his heart just as soon as you put your hand up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Here's a little testimony right down here. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I want to praise the Lord for your message. I fed almost constantly. And when you first began to speak about to fully enjoy God or to glorify Him, there was such a warm, sweet burning in my heart. <laughs> when you say that, it reminds me of the man that got up early one morning that Brother Hemp tells about, got on his wagon, had his coveralls on, his hat. Oh, it gets in my heart. Gets on the front seat of his wagon. Back in the days when horses pulled a wagon. Makes his way out through the fields and he looks at how God blessed during the night. There's dew on every tree, on every leaf, on every flower. And there's some for every blade of grass. God didn't miss one. He just blessed everything. Finally, as he got out to the open field, he just said, whoa. Got down off his wagon. Got out under the great skies of God. Took his old dirty hat off and he just waved at God. Hmm. Enjoying God. May it be forever. Man.